Okay, today's assignment is Earth's Surface, and we're going to be creating a spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel. We're going to do some formatting and put some charts in. So what we're going to do is open up Excel and start a blank uh, spreadsheet and save it as Earth's Surface on your OneDrive. Now your instructions say in your H Drive Excel folder. But these are older instructions, so just remember we save to our OneDrive, our Computer Financial Lit folder. And then you're going to enter the following spreadsheet. So in A1, we start geographic area. And remember, it's going to look like it's spilling over because it doesn't fit in the cell. But we can go back and change that after we've typed everything in. And then in B1, again, it looks like you're typing over it, but you're really not. We will go back and change. Oops, that's in the wrong spot. We're then going to do some formatting. So it says to select A1 to B4. We're going to make this size 14. We're going to highlight A1 and B1, just the top, and make them bold. And then we are going to auto fit to make sure everything fits. So we're going to click on the letter A. You get a downward facing black arrow and pull over to the column B. That selects the entire column. And we're going to go to Format, Auto Fit, Column Width. We are then going to center everything. Oh, and I spelled this wrong. Okay. We're going to select the numbers in Column B, and we're actually going to turn them into percentages with one decimal place. So when they are selected, we're going to come up to our number grouping on the Home tab, and we're going to click Percent. And then we want to increase the decimal by 1. Now we're going to put in a chart. So we're going to select A1 to B4. We're going to go up to Insert. In our Charts grouping, we are going to do the, three, the pie, and we're going to do the 3D pie. We are then going to add some data labels, which means we want to label each piece of the pie. So under Chart Tools, we're going to go to Design. We're going to go over to Add Chart Element. We're going to go to Data Labels. And we're going to go to Outside End. We are then going to position our chart under our data. So remember, click in the white area to move it. We are going to stretch it out to the end of column F and down to the bottom of row 21. Okay, now number 10, we are going to put in another chart. So beginning in cell A23, we are going to type the information that you see on your instructions. We are going to do some formatting, so we're going to select A23 to B27. We're actually going to make these all size 12. We are going to bold A23 and B23. We are going to center the data in all of the cells again. And we're going to format these numbers as percentages with one decimal place. And we're going to put in another chart. So we are going to select A23 to B27. We're going to go to Insert, Pi, the same one, 3D. We're going to pull it down. Oops. That's why we have to click in the white area. Pull it down underneath. The title is going to say Water on Earth. We're going to stretch it out to the end of column F and to the bottom of row 43. You are not putting data labels on this spreadsheet. If you need to do an auto fit again, please do so. Remember, click on the letter of the column and drag over. This way you auto fit the entire column 
to the whitest data in that column. And then we're going to put in a header and footer. You need to make sure that you are not on a chart. You cannot have a chart selected when you go to put in a header and footer. If you have a chart selected and you try to put in header footer, this is what it will look like. That is putting a header footer on the chart, not the entire spreadsheet. So make sure you click off of your chart. You go to insert, text, header and footer. In the header, in the left section, you're going to type your name. In the center section, you're going to type period and then the number. You're going to leave the right section blank. You're going to scroll on down to the footer and we're going to type Earth's surface and then we're going to insert the date. So all you have to do is go to the design tab under header and footer tools and put in current date. And there you have it. When you are done, save to your OneDrive, then save a copy to your desktop and then go ahead and upload the copy from the desktop onto Blackboard for grading.